Good morning guys, this is Becky. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about my good midlife crisis as I journey through my 40s, trying really hard to get my poop in a group by working on my financial, my physical, and my mental health. Today's video is going to be a physical health video and it is way in Wednesday. So in just a moment, I'm gonna turn my camera around, step on the scale and see how my weight is doing. I can say that this week, actual like, actual health wise has been much better than last week. I've only had like two days that my stomach was kind of eh, not great. One day where it kind of hurt and one day where it was just kind of not feeling great, but I haven't been sick again since last Tuesday. Um, so I'm very thankful for that. Whatever the doctor is doing is working and I'm very, I'm very, very happy. Um, I say that my stomach is starting to make gurgly noises, but I haven't taken my meds yet this morning. Um, anyway, but because I haven't been sick, <laughs> I have been eating more. Um, and I only went to the gym yesterday because last week I gave my body the week off to just heal because I was so, so sick last week. Um, so I don't know what the weight's going to look like, but I'm, I'm fine with it. I went, I did go back to the gym last night. And so I am getting back into that routine and I have been eating a lot smaller portions. I am back on my found pills and um, with my stomach the way it is, I find if I get my stomach too full, I don't, I, I feel sick. Um, I can't let it get completely empty or I feel sick too, but I can't eat too much. I like physically can't eat too much. So that might be helping. We'll see. <laughs> Just keep in mind last week when I weighed in, I had, bar had barely anything in my stomach from the day before because I had been so sick the day before. So this may be up, this may be down, this may be the same. We'll find out together in just a minute. So let's try this, try this, let's, uh, let's do this. Okay, my scale is to zero and I am at 292.2. I think that's pretty, almost exactly what it was last week. It might be up or down an ounce or two, but that's pretty exact. In my obligatory mirror shot, me, I don't know y'all, I feel like I look exactly the same, but will you let me know if you're noticing any differences? I mean, I feel like when I did my measurements last month, it was down seven inches from overall, and I feel like I should be able to really see that, and I don't feel like I do. And is that a mental thing, or is it like, it's just coming off of places that like it's a half an inch here and a half an inch there, so I can't really notice it. Sorry for the shakiness. Um, anyway, I don't know. I feel like mental, physical health is weird. I mean, I, I guess it, it's combined with mental health. Also, my hair is a little bit crazier than normal today because I washed it last night and I went to bed when it was still wet, so it's very frizzy. Okay, that's enough of that. I am going to go because it is 7.34 which means I am technically not late, but in my head, I am already four minutes late for work and I have to go get dressed. So I will see y'all in just a second when I uh, sum this up, probably Saturday. Goodbye. Hi friends, Saturday Becky here to wrap this week up and go over the numbers that you just saw. Um, it is significantly later than I normally record this video. It is almost noon, it is 11.50. And uh, we have to leave in like an hour to go take Alex to the airport. Um, but I slept in, I actually, I didn't mean to, I, I didn't wake up until eight o'clock today somehow. And, uh, then Nathan made us a big breakfast for, um, for Alex's last morning here. And it's just been a, just been a relaxing morning. So I didn't want to pressure myself to get this video up. So I am sorry. Normally I try to have this video up by 10 o'clock on Saturday. It's two hours after that and I haven't even recorded it yet. So I am sorry. But, as you can see from this video, from the weigh-in that I just did on Wednesday, I am down 1.6 pounds from the last week, and that is 9 pounds overall. And that's amazing, and I am hoping that I can keep that up. Sorry, I'm moving you. I'm hoping that I can keep that up, but I'm not sure. Um, I've noticed that I am craving a lot of salty things right now. Not sweet, which is great, but I want salty, and that makes me retain water, which, you know, obviously makes you gain weight. So I don't know how that's going. Um, but we'll see when I weigh in on Wednesday. And I have only been to the gym once this week. I normally would go on Tuesday, Thursday, and then Saturday. 
Tuesday I went. Thursday I went up to my bestie's house because I didn't want to normally go to her house on Fridays, but because Alex was leaving today, I wanted to spend last night with him. And so I didn't get to the gym then, and I didn't get to the gym last night because I was spending it with Alex. I was making dinner. Um, and then today I was going to go when Nathan took the, Alex to the airport and Jaden was just going to go with them and sit in the cell phone parking lot. Normally I do that. Normally Nathan takes both of the kids to the airport at the same time and he will go in with them because they're minors so he can get a parent pass to go to the gate with them and he'll sit with them and I'll just go sit in the cell phone parking lot. That way he doesn't have to pay for parking and he doesn't have to be alone on the drive home after he drops the kids off because it's obviously a very sad time um, when they leave because they don't... You can never have enough time with your kids, but especially when you have joint custody and they live across the country. It's it's not fair. Um, so anyway, it's obviously an emotional time when they leave, and I don't want him to be by himself. So I go with him, but because Jaden is not leaving, the plan was Jaden was going to go with them. He is not a parent. He can't get the pass. He was just going to go sit in the cell phone parking lot. Uh, but this morning he asked if I would come with him because he's afraid he's going to miss the cell phone parking lot. He's not sure he's going to be able to find it. Um, and it's like, to be fair, I always miss it. I always get lost on my way to the cell phone parking lot. I find it eventually. But somehow I, I always miss it the first time I go around. Um, and then I go off. I, if you've ever been to Austin Airport, like, it's right there. It's like as you're going to the terminal, you can go off to go to the cell phone parking lot. But you didn't used to be able to. You used to have to go off this exit before and then go around. And so in my brain, I panic and I'm like, oh, I know that you have to exit here and go around. And then I get lost. Anyway, but he wanted me to go with him, so I am planning to go with him. So I'm not going to go to the gym today either. So, well, I might be able to go when we get home. And we'll just see how the evening goes. Jane will still be here, so hopefully it won't be as hard of a time as it um, as it normally is. Anyway, that has nothing to do with anything other than that's why I haven't been to the gym this week. They are excuses, but they are also reasons. Um, I'm going to try to go this evening, and then tomorrow... They close at 7, though. And tomorrow I have church in the morning, and then I have plans to meet up with a friend for, like, a super late lunch, super early dinner. Like, we're going to go to this place called The Poor House in Austin, which has really good food. It's a bar, um, but I can't eat. I can't drink alcohol right now because I have an ulcer. So I'm, and I don't I normally just have, like, a cider or something. But they have really good cheesy bread um, and really good, like, they just have good food. So we're going to go there. But they don't open until 3, so we're going to go there around 3. Um, so that'll be like my lupper. And uh, so I don't know if I'll get to the gym tomorrow, so we'll see. It's kind of up in the air. I'm just taking this weekend one day at a time. Health-wise, my stomach has been better this week. Today I am noticing that it is hurting a little bit. Not like it has, but it is not pleasant right now. And so I don't know what I ate. I had crepes, and I had ham steak, and I had um, hash browns. That's that's what I had this morning, and I didn't eat very much of any of them because I wasn't very hungry, and my stomach wasn't feeling very great. also had tea um, because I can't have coffee, so I'm drinking my hot tea. I'm drinking my lukewarm tea because I've let it sit here for a while <laughs> uh, getting this video together. Anyway, I don't know what any of, if any of those things are contributing to it or... If maybe some days I'm just going to hurt. I have no idea. Okay, y'all. Um, anyway, so yes, nine pounds down overall. I am super happy with that. Now, that is not quite a pound a week because this is technically my 13th week. But considering the ups and downs and health issues and vacation and birthday and all the stuff I've done, I am very happy with nine pounds. I will take that. I am not going to complain. So... How is your journey going? Are you able to stick on track with your plans? Let me know in the comments below. If you would, please give this video a thumbs up on your way out. It really helps me, and I appreciate each and every one of you that does that and also leaves me a comment. If you are interested in following my journey, I would love to have you. All you have to do is click that subscribe button and then hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I post a video. I hope you all are having a fantastic day wherever you are, and I will talk to you later. Bye.